All right, we're here with Zoe Angulo and Rob Davini. Rob is from New Jersey, and Zoe is from Miami, Florida. Zoe is Miami's finest right now. And we're looking at Zoe right here. Zoe, why did you come to Rhode Island? Uh, <laughs> to play baseball and study engineering. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And enjoy the beautiful weather. So, and Rob, why, why did you choose Rhode Island? Um, I was just looking for a place to uh, get an opportunity to draw the tates. <laughs> and uh, Coach Foster gave me a chance, so I jumped right on board. Now, would you say you, you, Zoe, would you say you and Rob are close friends? Yeah, I'd say so. I didn't really like him at first, but now I think he's close That's why I didn't like him at first. Why is that? Why is that? Because the first time I met him, we did the Soldier Boy dance. <laughs> and he gave my man got no move. <laughs> yeah, right. More like he's mad jealous because my moves are so serious. And he's a hater. <laughs> we are here at Dayton Dragons Field for the Atlantic 10 Tournament with Mike LaBelle, the Quincy stud from Massachusetts. Now, we all know Mike, you know, always having a little temper. You know, he always seems like he's mad. Why do we think that, Mike? I don't know, Cam. I mean, probably because I'm around guys like you from Granger, you know? <laughs> probably have something to do with I understand. That. What are you eating here? I'm eating, uh, we got, we got chicken fingers. And fries. Nice. Right here. Very healthy. Six bucks and fifty cents. Very and good. I asked the lady for, for a Dr. Pepper with no ice and she put ice in it. That's not good. So okay, you, you know, you finish your freshman year almost. You know, we got the Atlantic Ten tournament in our sights right now. You know. Everyone what we're saying, I think I think we want that ring. Yeah. You know, we want to put a ring on that finger and move on. Yeah, uh, we want a ring. That's what we want. That's our main goal this weekend is to get a ring. We saw that you got second team, all rookie team. No, was that it? Just, just all, rookie all rookie team. Was yeah. that it? Yeah. Well, congratulations well, thanks, on that. Cam. Thank you. And I see that you're a Boston Red Sox fan, of course. I am. Are you? I am. That's great. You know, I'm just wondering uh, when David Ortiz is going to come out of his slump. No, he's not. He's not. No. No. We're going to get Matt Holiday from. Are from we? The athletics. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Mike LaBelle, and he is our third baseman for the University of Rhode Island Rams. We are here with the six foot six, 280 pound closer for your University of Rhode Island Rams, the co-captain, Luke Demko. Luke, how you doing? Good, feels good to be here. Good, very good. You know, the season coming to an end, we got the Atlantic 10 tournament right now. You know, we got the winner of Xavier and Charlotte. You know, things are looking good for the Rams. Absolutely. Uh, no matter who we play, we just gotta come out and play our game. Now, Demko, here's a few other questions. Now, who is the biggest prankster for the University of Rhode Island baseball team? I would have to say either Nick Greenwood or Cameron Fox. Very good. We are here now with Tim Boyce from Swansea, Mass, and catcher Michael Eshman from New Jersey. Timmy Boyce is one of the starting pitchers for the crew. Yeah. Eating his. Uh, Eating one of his finest meals that he loves is chicken fingers and fries. Yeah, they, they make some bad ones though. Yeah? Uh, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, all right? Yeah. Who is the biggest prankster for the University of Rhode Island baseball team? I mean, I think you're sitting I might have, have to say Cam Fox. Okay. I mean, besides us, I'm gonna have to go with you. Yeah. All right, well, okay. Well, like, Dan Rosenthal's ego has been running around. Oh my nice God. Just like, yeah? I'm just happy I don't have a room with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sleeping with him. Now, what <laughs> what is the height of starting of one of the starting pitchers, Dan Rosino? What is uh, his, they can't measure it. They didn't have a high enough measure tape. Dan Rosino, how tall is Danny? Tim? I've heard five two. I don't five know. two? I've seen heard four nine get thrown out. I four know. nine? Legal midget. Legal midget, okay. <laughs> Well, we're here in Dayton, Ohio, enjoying our time with the nice weather. Now, T Timmy's getting the ball tomorrow yes, versus, yes, versus the is. winner of Xavier and Charlotte. Timmy, are you ready to take on that take on that battle? I think Timmy is ready. Timmy is ready. Ash, you gonna get me going tomorrow? He'll get me going. He'll get me going. going in the pen. Stay back. He is stay back. Stay back. Well, this is Timmy Boyce and Michael Eshman, starting pitcher and catcher. Yeah, well, if you want, to, we can get you later when we're eating what? dinner or all something. Right, come back. Okay, come we'll back. bring back we'll here. We'll be here all night. All right, we'll be here all night. I appreciate it. We are now here with another Rhode Island baseball player, Dan Rosignol from Nashua, New Hampshire. 
Now, Danny, known as Little Dan, sits in at about five foot two, five foot one, as we say. He says five foot three, but we're not too sure. Dan, how you doing? What is his ego? Um, six doing pretty six. good. How are you doing? Dan, would you mind standing up for us just so we can get at least a quick view? We also have a closer, Luke Demko, who stands at six six. So we'd like to see the differential between the height. So Luke, can you stand up for us? So this is six foot six. And Rozzy, can you, where's Rozzy? Ro there he is. Oh, okay, that's, wow. so there we go. So, so that's about five foot. So little Dan is not yet a legal midget, but he's almost there. So that's Dan Rozzy. Rozzy, right-handed pitcher, you know. Can you tell me some of your superstitions? That's Chris Pickering. <laughs> Throwing a little water on Rozzy's head. Now, Rozzy, what are some of your superstitions? Like for before a uh, baseball game, um, you can look at ibuprofen. the camera. I don't really have any superstitions. Yeah, do you have any uh, pregame rituals? Uh, I usually have a pregame talk with my ego. In the yeah, plate, uh, yeah. Before I start throwing. Yeah. Very good. Well, who? Can, well, Russ, can you answer this? Who is one of the most underrated players for this University of Rhode Island baseball team? I think it's Michael Eshman. Michael Eshman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he really takes care of us in the bully. That's true. Yeah. So you're from Nashua, New Hampshire. Yep. You know, you're a you're you're a northeast guy, and I'm guessing you're a Red Sox fan. I am a Red Sox fan. Yeah. Who's your favorite baseball player? Uh, <laughs> Pedro Martinez, but he's Pedro. not playing anymore. So. Yeah. Why Pedro? Uh, cause he's a little, little small guy like myself. Chris Carpenter. Yeah, Chris Carpenter, New Hampshire guy. So. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm looking at Luke Demko, and I'm looking at you. He's 6'6", six, six, you're 5'2". Do you think you could take Luke Demko in an eating contest? Oh, I already have. Really? Yeah. Very good. And also, you know, there's a ritual every year. If a pitcher throws a complete game shutout, or just a shutout, we get pitcher's batting practice. Yeah. Now, who was the best hitter yesterday during pitcher's BP? Uh, I was. You were? Yeah. The five foot two Dan Rossing though. Yeah. Did you hit any home runs? Uh, I hit five. Yeah, five home runs. runs yeah. oh, okay. How about Luke Demko swing? Uh, he runs into some balls. Ask him. My, my pitcher's batting right sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. We're also here with the home run derby champion Chris Pickering. You know, also known as the Bass Champion. And Max Bear. Max Bear. No, Pick, you're a very strong man. Yeah. You know, you've been in the weight room quite a lot this uh, winter. You know, has that paid off for you this year? Um, I think yesterday it was very evident that my hard work has paid off. <laughs> for um, pitchers batting practice, I'm guessing? VP, yes. I had three home runs to win it. Yep. Rossi talks a big game, thinks he had five, but the fence, we weren't playing like out of the infield. Oh, okay. So we are playing from home plate. Yeah, we were playing from home plate. Rossi didn't hit one into the outfield. Okay. Now... Pick, when you were 12 years old, you played in the Little League World Series, correct? For Lincoln, Rhode Island. How was that experience? It's a good experience. I got to meet many kids. Yes, there's a lot of kids in the Little League World Series. I played with a few kids who were taller than Rossi is right now. Nice. Now, you also played with Danny Almonte? I didn't play with him. We never played against him, but we knew him. Yeah, so uh, how was he? I didn't really talk too much. Did he drive you around? <laughs> You know. Nah, he stayed in the dorm. He didn't want to talk to people. And know, it was know he was 14. So Chris Pickering, left-handed pitcher from Lincoln, and also Tommy Colomb, the he first baseman, it. was who was also on the team, was on the Lily World Series team. That's a quite experience. So uh, that's Chris Pickering, the five foot two Dan Rossi now, and again the the closer, Luke Demko.